Hello everybody, this is Jessica with Stampy Blessing. Stamping Up is bringing up their new catalog and with it, many new products. So I'm bringing this series, what's new with Stamping Up? And today I wanna show you an embossing folder, a stamp set, and a bunch of details about this new in okay, color. So here we have the most beautiful in colors for this year absolutely love them they were officially released on june 1st in the new catalog from stamping up so the first idea i'm going to give you is a very simple sketch and here it is super mega simple right it's a rectangle a circle and a little line the first tip i want to give besides the simple sketch is hey enjoy the colors so first of all we're going to enjoy each of the colors alone so i'm going to bring some of the materials that we will use for this card i have the pearlized doilies i have the blueberry bushel one of the ink colors the blue and i also have a whisper white cardstock and i have a little bit of the polka dot tool ribbon and um and the painted glass so let's go ahead and start stamping super simple sketch that you can follow and i just want you to start using your ink colors okay so first of all i'm going to bring my big shot and we are going to emboss this beautiful card base with the new lovely florals um, embossing folder. Now I remove my embossing folder from it and I have that beautiful impression right there, okay? So what I decided to do next with this card is very simple. You are going to be stamping the circle image from the painted glass. Here it is, this circle image right here. And we are gonna do it in a very light color. I decided with the blueberry bushel to use the Sahara sand. Remember, I'm focusing on one color at a time at this point. And what I will do is I will stamp this twice. So I'll stamp it here and then I'll stamp it here again. And I'll grab the lightest of the two and it's this one because I want a light image. You'll see what I'll be doing. Now I'm gonna take my two inch circle punch and we will punch that image out. I don't need the other one. Now I will stamp my sentiment right on top and I will be using my beautiful blueberry bushel or bushel. I never know if I'm pronouncing my wonderful English well. And I am using the sentiment that says with deepest sympathy. There's many, many situations going around me today and I want to send some cards to some of my friends. So I will be stamping that right in the center. Beautiful, and I did use my blueberry bushel one. I love those little strips right there that we can see now where we are and how easy it is to close and open. I will bring some of my dimensionals and I will bring my card right here. You see, I'm following, I'm following exactly what I said. I will also bring one of my pearlized doilies, like I said, this one right here, and I would bring that little tiny piece of tool ribbon i love my tool ribbon this is about four inches of ribbon so it's not a lot and this is what i will do i will use my snail i will put some of that snail right here nothing too difficult look at my nice little sketch are you like me that puts sketches everywhere i'm always drawing sketches <laughs> everywhere i go i have a sketch sometimes i'm with the kids doing devotion and i am um um, always have paper with me, even if I go to take my shower. Surely I don't get it inside the shower, but I leave it on the counter. I leave a piece of paper and I always leave um, some some pen. You know, I need a pen or something close by because I always have ideas, always want to be sketching, sketching, sketching. And I love doing that. So today I'm just showing you one of my sketches. Very, very simple. You can use it with anything that you have at home. But what I want you to do is to just really use what you have. And look how simple, how simple this card is. Now I'm gonna give a little bit of shape to my edges and I'll give a little shape to this other edge right here. So it looks all pretty and nice. And look how wonderful that looks. I have another tip for you in a second, but I wanna show you that when you use the cards by themselves, just the colors by themselves, they look absolutely gorgeous. Look at this one right here. Doesn't that look so nice? This is the pineapple punch, the blueberry bushel, but in this case I use the Have a Beautiful Birthday, and all of these are from the painted glass. I'll put some links below. A reason to celebrate 
This is one of my favorite colors, a reason to celebrate again. And then I have half a beautiful birthday with the lovely lipstick. So I have more ideas for you, but I really, really, really want you to share below what of these five new ink colors is your favorite. The lovely lipstick, Breakfruit Grove, all clo all, oh, call me Clover, beautiful green, Blueberry Bustle, or the Pineapple Punch. I Let me give you a tip with the lovely florals embossing folder. If I open this card, you'll see nothing because I've done nothing with it. It's the one that we just did, but check, check this one out. Look what I did right here. Don't you think that is such a cool tip? I've never, never done this before. So this I just learned while I was playing with it, okay? And what I learned about it is that you can actually position that lovely fla um, lovely floral um, embossing folder wherever you want on the paper and it doesn't make any marks on the other side. So let's do that for the card that we were just Check made. out how cool this is. I can actually position this however I want on my on my paper. And it is, for me, that's, it's just incredible. I just love that idea. So this is the way that it's gonna come up, right? This is, this is the right way to put the paper, right there. And I wanna put it on that corner. Okay, I hope you can see that well. I wanna put it on this corner of the paper. But in the past, I had some embossing folders that when you did this, this side, this side right here would mark the cardstock. Did that ever happen to you? Well, I went ahead and decided to see if this could make a difference. And you know what? These embossing folders are so neat. I don't know what they're doing now to avoid that, but when you bring it out, you can actually position it in any spot of your car stock and there's no marks. You see no marks over here. So you can put it higher, you can put it lower and it just looks wonderful. Okay, so here it is. I just gonna put a little bit of snail in the back of this and I'm going to add it to the inside of my card. And surely you won't be able to write exactly where you emboss. So I would not recommend embossing the inside layer on the center, but I can certainly write in all this section right here and it will still look very elegant when you open that. I love the coordination. So if you like that, let me know. Now, I just show you how to use um, this sketch with one color and how to enjoy your one color of the ink colors at a time. But I wanna show you some samples that I did putting the colors together. And I made this little bookmarks for many of my customers that receive um, a catalog this year. And I just put all the colors, I just have fun with them. I use all the colors. I think I use also the Sahara Sand for some of those little bubbles around with the artisan textures. But this is the Pick a Pennant um, stamp set that I use for this one. But let me show you some cards too. These are my favorite right now. And as you see, I am in love with the pineapple punch and the blueberry bustle together. So I use them together on this card using the thoughtful banners that most likely you have from last year. It has this bar right here that you can use for color. And I also use the love what you do flower right here. But I use many of the sentiments that you see in this one to make my cards that say, hello, sweet, inspiring, fabulous, fabulous, amazing you. And I made um, the Grapefruit Grove be the, the second layer right here in all of them. So I only made four with the different four card bases and always using the Grapefruit Grove. So what do you think about this card? Do you like them? If you have them, if you, if you wanna make them super simple cards, let me show you another sample of a way you can use the ink colors together and they look wonderful. Look at this one. Look at this one. On this one, I use the varied bases right here. And I decided to use my lovely lipstick. I use the same technique I just showed you to put that lovely floral on the side of your cardstock. I stamp my my vase and I also color my vase and I color my vase by putting a stencil after I punch. I put the stencil right there. I hope I have it here. Let me show you. I may have it. Nope, I do not have it. But let's just say that this is a stencil. I put it there and then I stamp on top. So I made a stencil of the vase and then I stamp my um, love what you do uh, little spot right there to color my vase. And I hope you like this one. Again, I'm using all of my... Um, all of my beautiful ink colors. I have another idea. You can also mix this ink colors with other colors and I wanna show them to you. Here is a mix. I took two of the ink colors and I mixed them with pear pizzazz, okay? And um, this is the same sketch that we were just 
using, okay? Same sketch, but I turn it around, and instead of putting a line in the middle, I just put the center circle, and that's it. I put an image, and I decided to emboss. And if you see on this was I embossed from both sides, so just put your cardstock through and stop halfway, and then put your cash stock up to where it's it not stamp it emboss midway so that you don't flatten the other side but i really enjoy putting the lovely florals in the two sides and if you like ideas with the lovely florals i want you to stay connected and subscribe to my channel because i have a i have a video coming with a bunch of ideas on how to use the lovely florals i also have another video coming on how to use your painted um painted glass stamp set that we were using today this is one of the samples that we made on uh, at on stage and i want the as a part of the conference i want the vellum that uh, coordinates with it and i have another video coming with those so again which of all these beautiful ink colors is your favorite let me show them to you over here i have a little gift for you and this is a very very cool idea to have at hand when you want to create with the ink colors and you don't even know where to start this is sort of like a sample of just just three ideas of samples with a blueberry bushel you can use them with call me clover and calypso coral you can make a card with those three colors or you can mix blueberry bushel with highland heather and gray granite some of the new colors coming core colors coming into stamping up and um, again it does the same thing with the pineapple punch the call me clover lovely Vistic, and all of the other ink colors from 2017 2019 so i will put a link below and i hope that this helps you to start using your beautiful ink colors this year which one is your favorite in color? Comment below, please. I would love to hear from you. Let me remind you of this. Do less with more focus. As I was reading the Bible this week, I remember a verse in Isaiah 57, and it was the verse 14. It says, build up, build up, prepare the road, remove the obstacles out of the way of my people. When I read that, it just reminded me again and again that I have to remove some obstacles that are not letting me walk with God the way He wants me to walk with Him. What are the obstacles that are distracting you? What are the obstacles that are getting on the way of what you really, really, really want to do? I want you to pinpoint those and I want you to focus your eyes into that that the Lord is calling you to do and to do it with joy, to do it with passion, to do less with more focus. God bless you. Thanks for being here today. I'm so excited to have you and I love receiving your comments. So leave them below. I can't wait to hear from you. God bless you. Ciao, ciao.